Today we're taking a close look at Phantom Dust, one of only a handful of video games, in my opinion, to truly elevate the art form. Phantom Dust was originally released in the US on the OG Xbox in 2005, then later re-released in 2017 on the Xbox One, where I've spent the last few weeks revisiting this real-time action strategy cult classic. Now most gamers would agree that Phantom Dust's anime-inspired style and game mechanics, which borrow heavily from collectible trading card games, was ahead of its time. But I argue its plot is where it truly shines. The game opens on a post-apocalyptic landscape covered in a phantom dust. Two pods are found containing two men, Edgar and your player character, both in an unconscious state with a serious case of amnesia. If I'm not me, who the hell am I? As you progress through the game, you uncover that Edgar was an astronaut who flew too close to the event horizon of a black hole. Though the trip was only three days for him, he found that 10,000 years had passed on Earth, and in that time, humanity itself had been wiped out, leaving only an empty, dust-filled planet. Upon Edgar's return, he discovers he has the power to control the dust and create self-aware human constructs from his own personal memories, you being one of those constructs. You're a fucking hallucination. Why can't I get rid of you? You need me. No, I don't. Now, I'll be the first to admit, it leans heavily on some well-established tropes. The astronaut that goes on a mission only to return to a barren post-apocalyptic Earth. Damn you! The stranded castaway that must deal with overwhelming isolation. Oh my god, I'm so alone! And the scientist who unlocks the secrets of creating life. She's alive! Alive! But where most creative teams would call it a day, director Yukio Fatatsugi and writer Takashi Okamoto confront the player with deeper, more philosophical questions. Number one, are mental manifestations real or are they just madness born out of loneliness? You wouldn't match by a chance, would you? Number two, if they are madness, why do they trigger such deep feelings like happiness, sadness, and loss? Well, then I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Number three, if this phantom dust could grant one the ability to make human constructs from memory, like a god, would they have agency? You were made as well as we could make you, but not to last. Now, modern philosophy has grappled with these same questions. For instance, in Descartes' Discourse and Method, he proposes, I think, therefore I am. And John Locke postulates in Theory of Mind that all we are is a collection of experiences and, and memories. Obviously, you can see how quickly one can go down the Philip K. Dick to Android's Dream of Electric Sheep rabbit hole. Regardless, no other video game has ever made me think this deeply about memory or what it constitutes to be real. We've come to the end of yet another episode. But if you know of some Russian author or French philosopher that can shed more light on this topic, please let me know. Or maybe you feel I'm overthinking it with pseudo-intellectual theories. Drop a comment in the section below. And lastly, but most importantly, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. They like it when you do that. Catch you later. Peace.